And welcome to another exciting episode of Mini Grinder Paints Live. I'm your host, the great Phil Nemo. The Mini Grinder. That's me. And what do we got on our plate today? Got a little bit of fun. A little bit of fun. We got Malik the Necromancer. <laughs> which is probably why I'm throwing stuff all over the place. No, which is probably why. There's these uh, undead-like folks behind him. I plan on doing the paint job uh, very similar to uh, these guys, the Ghost King and the um, Arius, the, or Arius, the Skeletal Warrior. Uh, very similar paint schemes couldn't hurt, actually. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to do something very similar. And because uh, I'm kind of just, I like to keep things consistent, you know what I mean? So I've actually added some flock to these. Uh, I haven't did the second round of flocking. Actually, all the undead are going to get that ashen flock. You should watch my other video, uh, flocking a miniature with ashen land. Um, maybe I'll throw a link up somehow. But you should check that out, where I show how I uh, flock these things. Flock them. Flock them. Get them out of here. I'm done looking at them. We'll flock them later. <laughs> All right. So uh, take a moment. Also, if you've been watching my videos, I really appreciate it. Uh, it's good to know that like, I'm not just painting these miniatures with a camera in my face um, for nothing. <laughs> it's nice seeing people actually uh, watching this stuff, which is crazy. I didn't think it would happen, but it's happening. So, you know, thank you. I just want to say thank you. Um, and if you want to say thank you, just give me a, a like and uh, maybe even a subscribe. So I've actually, you can see the base here. I've, I've actually shaved it a bit uh, when I was prepping the base. I just wanted to, there's some parts where you can see the seam of the um, Malik's old base, actually the, the Bones base. Sometimes you get them and they're, they're a little crooked. And even after the hot bath, they, they're still a little crooked. And <laughs> but that's okay uh, because you don't really need that base anyways when you're doing a proper base like this, you know. So let's get down into it. I have no idea what I'm going to do for this paint job. So <laughs> I haven't really even planned it out. I was thinking some kind of pale skin, um, most likely, because he's a necromancer, and he doesn't get out much. That's what I was thinking, some pale skin. Um, he's got this crazy mask. Uh... I have no idea what I'm going to do uh, with. I was thinking about doing like some multicolor thing, so like maybe one side being red or something like that. Or, but most likely it's just going to be maybe a brown mask, a sack, a burlap sack over his head. Uh, for the cape, I'm definitely going to follow the purple with the green. Um... Mojo, he's got some kind of bone armor on, or something. Maybe those are his actual ribs. <laughs> They're a little low. Uh, but, so that's, that's going to be obviously bonish color. The armor, most likely, will be a combination of steel and gold. Yeah, so I think, I think we can do this. I think we can do it relatively quick. Quickly. Quick, quickly. So I've already uh, um, primed this guy. Oh, put a f first layer of uh, pure black down. And then I frosted it with a dry brushing of pure white. So I can see all the details. And that, that only took me uh, 10 minutes or so. So let's get a slightly better, better view here. Yes. Okay. Let's get down to it. So what are we going to start with? Um, 
Oh, goodness. Let's start with basing the skin. We got to base, base that skin out. It's going to be um, it's going to be pale, so I'm going to start with kind of a, a lighter brown for the base. I'm going to use earth brown. And again, this base is I'm going to dry brush it in. Uh, it feels like forever since I've done this. I'm actually going to go right over all the uh, wrappings um, around his arms. Um, Let's get you guys in a little closer. Go. There we don't go. There we do go. <laughs> well, I don't want to have to fight for light space. The camera is shading, shading some light. I say dry brushing, it's, it's almost like dry brushing. You know. I have no idea how long this will take me, end up taking me. Uh, I'm guessing somewhere around two hours. Um, and I don't really stop the whole way. So, uh, fair warning. But if you would like to see how I do different parts, uh, you can go and check out those different parts. I haven't put any, like, I don't know how you do this, but um, chapters in or anything like that. I don't really plan it out that far ahead. <laughs> you know, I'm sort of doing this by the seat of my pants, kind of. Um, but anyways, yeah, I, I don't feel bad if you don't watch the whole thing. Uh, I don't watch the whole thing. You know? <laughs> I try to be uh, as talkative as I possibly can because, you know, that makes it less boring, maybe. Sometimes it makes it worse, uh, which is most definitely the case with me. <laughs> I say things that I, don't, I only think are funny. It is funny. Or funny. Whatever. So I like frosting, um, that's what I'm going to call it, that's what I always call it. I like frosting my mini with a dry brush in there of like white or uh, any other color because it already works with the next level. Uh, so when I base, put a light coat of uh, earth brown on here, the dark parts are going to remain darker than the light parts. And I like that. You can see that in the leg there. All right? Because I've already frosted it, the light parts are going to be lighter than the dark parts. And it's nice. That's a good, yeah, that's a good idea. I'm glad. I'm glad I thought of it. <laughs> uh, oh. If something I I do seems a little unorthodox, it's because I don't I don't hang out with a bunch of people that paint miniatures. Uh, I'm pretty much the only person that I know that paints miniatures regularly. Um, there's only another couple of, of my friends that were that paint miniatures, and I haven't seen them do it in years. So, much of what I know, I just sort of, you know, picked up over the last 20 years of off and on painting these things, you know. So we're just basing the 
skin, getting that down first. Uh, even wherever there's possibly these, uh, I think the yeah, wherever there, wherever I think I'm gonna put bone down, um, I'm gonna go ahead and do that also. I don't know if you guys have noticed this, but I'm actually, uh, my... A lot of the times my little form banner thing is is this palette. I'll take a picture of the palette and whatever manifestation that it's currently in, and I'll use that. So, that's a lot of this. At some later point in time, I might go back and, like, you know, mix these videos down. Edit them down, you know. It could happen. Probably won't, though. Um, for some time. Ooh, you thought I was going to say? It probably won't. I so I'm going to try to keep this in the center the best I can. I'm going to go ahead and hit the mask, whatever the hell this thing is. Stupid mask. That's why I look cool. Yes. There we go. Uh, I do have some brown left. I'm going to go ahead and find some other spots with it. Make some brown. Oh, like <laughs> the other side <laughs> of their arms. Good call, good call. Pro, man. I'm pro. As I hit the camera, everything. You guys don't even know how pro you are. <laughs> yeah, I am. This is special. I'm as special as they come. Let me tell you. So I don't cork my minis or anything like that when I paint. I try to get them on a base so I can hold that. It's nice. It's round. I always like round bases because um, I'm going to move this up just a tad. I know it looks nice there. but so, Anyways, uh, I, like, I like round bases. That's why I like them. I like them for multiple reasons. Uh, You're playing on hexes? They work. If you're playing on squares, they work. If you're playing, uh, if you're playing, it works. It always works. Round bases. They always work. That's all I'm trying to say about them. So again, I'm just applying some the brown color. Most of this is just getting it painted right over. Right on. Yeah, is what I need some most likely. That's that thing. Probably could just paint that some kind of like I don't know. Gold or silvery? Well, I don't want to do like black. Black could look. If we're doing silver, I'm, <laughs> I'm basing it the wrong color. <laughs> uh, 
Smith, Earl Smith, I don't care. I do whatever kind I want. I do what I want. Please. Just getting some color there. Uh, at some point, then we're going to have to remind me to go back. And get, I'm just going to do it. I hate running out of paint and just to like put a couple more drops down to finish off whatever I was working on. Uh, now is a great time to also tell you that what's coming up next is this guy. He's a P65 model. Uh, the. Uh, I think it's called the Harvester Wraith or Wraith Harvester. I believe he's out of print. I don't know if he's coming over to the Bones line or not. Uh, I don't have every product code memorized. I'm sorry. <laughs> but he will be coming up shortly enough. All right. Helps me have paint on the brush. And I guess. Just step on the skulls. He's a real jerk, like that. Right? I mean, look at him. Look how jerky he is. I mean, what's he got to hide, really? Hide behind a mask like that. Like, what's the point of the mask? Huh? Disfigured? That's why he's all. He's making everybody into undead. He's got a big nose. <laughs> He's feel jaded. <laughs> or, you know, maybe um, a butt chin or a unibrow. Maybe he's got a wicked unibrow, you know. Some unibrows look awesome, I think. Yeah, it looks strange. People without unibrows, but... Uh, if you brown demands respect, man. Respect. Okay, I'm gonna start hitting the. Which uh, is. You know, basing, uh, putting bases down, base layerings down, I'm uh, sorry, uh, these things. It's really nice just to um, sort of partition the miniature. Look how partitioned the miniature is at, the, at this point. You know, just there's certain sections that are really sticking out to me now. You know, it really helps you see. Um, the piece, you know, you can see, you can see the paint job before it's done. Now. Well, maybe maybe we can. I'm starting to. Know. I'm starting to. Maybe I should do the boots too. The boots are probably going to end up being like kind of dark. Probably a dark brown. So there's probably no point in me putting this paint on here right now. Probably zero point to this. <laughs> there's, there's no reason why I should put any more paint on this other boot right here. I'm not trying to trick you or anything. I'm, it's OCD. I already started painting the other one. Um, 
that I, I had I had to pay both of them. Yeah. I think it's a kind of black leather or something. Or something. Oh. Looking nice enough. Let's make his skin really pale. I'm actually going to take a book, uh, page from my zombie. Um, the zombie miniature that I painted. And he had gray skin. And then highlighted with aged thumb. And I actually think I might do the same thing. I'm not giving him zombie flesh. Uh, okay, so I might be a little bit. So I think I'm actually going to... do that. Because I can. So I don't care. <laughs> I really don't care. I'm a man that does not care. I do what I want. Do what I want. La 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 la. One moment. La 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 la. Sometimes I actually look over and see that you can't see anything. It doesn't hurt to hit anything that looks like skin. Feel the free speed. I, mean, I don't want to put like regular skin on the necromancer, you know. I could have made him look real pasty. That's kind of what I'm going to go for. It's kind of a pasty. I'm sort of hoping the aged bone will pull in the hair, hand there. I often like to do the skin first. Uh, that's a whole gauntlet, so I just need to do there, there, and then this side of the arm. There we go.
Let's move it back here. Pulling out the aged bell. This is going to be his tasty skin. I'm not cleaning the brush. I'm just loading it up very lightly. Very lightly. Classic. Super dry brush. Don't need to go crazy here. Add a little bit more, little by little, until you find your your comfort. Oh yeah. Doesn't seem like you, it doesn't seem like there's any paint on the brush. I assure you, there's paint on the brush. It's very, very little there. Again, find your my comfort level here. And we're just dry brushing each little part. Each little skin partition. I'm going to hit this with a quick, these legs with a quick highlight. I'll go with it now. Nice, nice pasty skin. It's working out just as I planned. On the side. A little back here, just a little, I said. Very little belt. Let's see here. What I do is I make sure to grab some and I pull it out to the side and I dry brush it out on the side, basically. And when I get the right amount, 
and then I entered. Hard to screw up when you're using such little paint, you know. So layer by layer, we're going to build this up. Actually, I want a little bit thicker on the brush this time. I'm going to go in and highlight the hands on my mirror. A little thicker dry brushing. Okay. And I don't have to do those hands. So the, the skin is pretty much done here, actually. I'm really happy with it, the way it turned out. It's really nice. Um, I'm going to hit one other thing with this age bone before I put it away. So I'm going to get a little, th little thicker dry brush in here. Details paint themselves. Very little need on the brush right now. Okay. A very cakey the paint. It is very cakey right now. Nice. nice. He's just standing on some skulls. Some happy little skulls. <laughs> oh, goodness. Boom, boom. Boom, boom. Oh, why didn't anybody tell me that there's like a little scabbard there? Dang it. You guys are supposed to be paying attention. All zero of you. Yeah, I know. I don't. I don't give any warning as to when I'm going to be doing this ridiculous nonsense. Well, how would you plan for it? I mean, come on. If you want to paint, you want to paint. That's just how it goes. Right now, <laughs> I want to paint, and I'm going to paint this. This here necromancer is mine to control. There you go. Looking good. I might actually make some of the age bone. With the earth brown. <laughs> Evidently in the gray as well. <laughs> I didn't know it was going to sneak in there. And we're going to dry brush the, the mask. Now with a little bit more page bone. I'm going to highlight it. Nice. Okay. A 
Okay, I don't want it to be too much like the skin color. So I added a little bit more earth brown back to it. Just a nice dry brushing there. Yes, I still don't know what I'm going to do with that damn mask. I might do something completely different than what I've done. Um, oh, where else do I need aged bone? Oh, I know. How about the bone armor that he's wearing? Again, I'm going to have to do something. Else with the, uh, the stuff that I'm painting as bone right now, I might just add a little bit more uh, might just add a little bit more white to it. There we go. We'll probably highlight it with some white, basically. Most likely. What do you do? Where's this other stuff that's like a tent? Okay. I'm going to try to figure it out. Okay, actually. But really? Nice. We're actually doing pretty good here on time. Okay, so what am I going to do here? All right, I'm going to start working on the cloaks. Wow, okay, so brand new bottle, pure black. Yep, another one's finally empty. Although, I took the little metal ball that's in there, <laughs> and I put it into this bottle. I'm going to start saving them up. <laughs> uh, that sounds crazy. There we go. Nice. Just throwing down some uh, pure black from this nice new bottle of pure black. Okay. Pure black. of the brush. Important. 
I'm going to try to paint a lot of figures uh, this week. Uh, so there's also the Wraith Harvester that uh, I'd like to do. Um, I'm going to be able to do a lot of character minis, actually. This week, hopefully. And you heard it here first. I'm going to be basing my nether mall. Uh, I think I'm going to go ahead and do that on cam as well. I mean, I might as well. Because um, I want to. That's why. See? So what I'm basically doing is I want the area closest to the body more black. Black on black, man. Not crime, but like, you know, black on black, man. So dark. It's so dark. You only wish you were this dark. Actually, I'm going to hit that again. Sorry, I keep on tapping the camera with the paintbrush, but uh, you can imagine it's hard to get in here and get her done. What I'm doing. Get it done. Oh, yeah. Oh, right. I just keep hitting it and hitting it. I don't care. I don't care. What? What? Yeah, freaking out, man. Freaking out. We're in. We're in it now. I guess while that blacks out, I can go ahead and plan black leather. I don't normally like to do uh, black leather. I think it's maybe, maybe I'm doing it wrong, but I just put black down. I guess I probably am doing it wrong. There's probably something else I could do to it. Do do. I said do do. What it is, what it is, yo. I don't know. I don't know. Alrighty, oh, got some kind of like leather things here. I'm gonna go ahead and put these as well. This one too. Little by little, it's coming together. I just love it when the plant comes together. 
For the Erie Ecto, we're going to use Forest Green. Later, we're going to use Leaf Green. First, always, the Forest Green. We're going to dry brush this in. The. Oh, can't do that yet. Why are we. I'm an idiot. No, I can't do it, actually. It'll be just fine. All right, I, I forgot what I was doing like this on this side. There's so little paint on the brush there that that white underneath just helps that color pick right out. Come right out. I'm just trying to brush some pore screen here. There we go. To go back over with that black allowed for that nice difference from black to forest green. Good transitional color there. I'm going to do this side of the cloak a little different. I'm going to do it more like my gray wraith. And then on the outside I'm going to do the purple with the blue. There we go. And remember, it's not going to stay this color. a little bit in there. Beautiful. Go ahead and pull out that imperial purple. <sighs> Loading up the brush. Very dry, very dry, very dry. I want this purple to go in kind of dark. I'm going to be using the, the first base coat, the black base coat with the frosting to get pretty much all the color that we're going to need. as well.
hood. The hood. Careful, careful, careful. Well, that is not dark enough. It's okay. <laughs> it looks like Skeletor. <laughs> it's like Skeletor. Skeletor purple! I'm gonna go get some black and mix it in a little bit there. Okay, sorry. I'm like trying to. I don't know what I'm going to do with that mask. Any ideas? Again. Okay, light dry brushing, purple. I just wanted to react with the frosted uh, color more so than anything else. So a little bit of black mixed in. Again, I just wanted to react with the frosted part. that out. What we do? Let's go ahead and throw this out. Looking pretty good on this side. Just dry brushing that out some. I haven't added any more black. This is pretty much a straight old purple. A lot of this is actually going to get painted over again. Okay. The next layer. That's when I'm actually going to do the Eriacto combo. The Eriacto color combo. C -c 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 combo. Okay, so now we need four screen. I'll just apply that to the bottom. I'm just going to bring that up a little bit.
this a little bit better. Okay. And the same on this side. <laughs> it's okay, we're okay. <laughs> that was a pretty good reaction, though. Don't act like you haven't done it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. <laughs> I don't know why it's still so funny to me. Sorry. Okay. Mix in some white in with my forest green, which turns it into this really nice teal color right here. The sea foam color. We're going to go ahead and highlight just a little, a little too much. Very little amount of paint on the brush. We're just going for highlights here. This is the Next phase in the Eerie Ecto color combo. C -c 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 combo. Look at that. Just doesn't take much, man. What we're doing is you're just building this layer layer up slowly and slowly, or these layers up slowly. Um, what I'm doing here with this one is sort of prepping the next layer. You know, each layer sort of takes a little bit from the last, so it's almost like when you layer in this manner, you're mixing colors slowly on the piece itself. Very airbrushed there.
actually. So, what ties it all together? The Ecto that is. This is a leaf green. So what it is is basically a combination of forest green and leaf green. So forest green, base with forest green, highlight with forest green with white mixed, and then highlight yet again with leaf green. I'm actually going to shake this up very well. And I'm just going to dry brush this on. This leaf green is very moist. It's a moist paint. Even when you draw it out. All right, let's start over here. This sort of changes the color character from that forest green, but not quite as bright as the leaf green either, you know? So it has a little bit of that blue, that glow. Just a perfect smattering of color. It's so different. thicker. It's basically your classic life force green is what I'm going for. Classic. I'm going for the glow. I can't believe I'm still painting this miniature right now. It's taking a little extra time. It's okay. It's looking really nice. Remember, the less paint you use, uh, the less times you're going to have to redo mistakes. There we go. Isn't that crazy? It just looks so awesome. I just love it. I 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 love it. Actually, putting some glow up here on the cow or cloak hood just a little bit. Very little. Very, 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 very little. And it's just positively glowing with life force. Glowing. There we go. It's wonderful. I can't believe I started more work to do here. I don't know 
quite a bit of work. I still don't know what I'm going to do with that damn mask. I kind of want to just make it black. Doable. Doable. <laughs> so doable. I'm going to do it. Not just a little bit of black. I really put it in there too. Um, that's okay. I still don't know what I'm going to do. I still don't know. Actually, I don't know what I'm to do. I don't want to do it, baby. What I do want to do, I'm going to do it. Right up in here. Hey, yeah. Can I get a hell yeah? I didn't expect anything, actually. Say hell yeah, I'm pretty for sad, but uh, thanks for caring. This ribbon here. Highlighting this with a little bit of white mixed in with imperial purple. Okay, we're going to do. Everything's too light. A lot of this stuff is just too. It's too light for my liking. I think this will help. Yeah. 
these boots are going to end up being black. I might actually just, just they turn out well enough. I might just keep them like this. Better. Sometimes all you need is um, just a wash to make you feel a little bit better about everything. I think I'm going to do one more work through with the leaf green just to give it an extra highlight around the fringe. Just an extra 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 there we go. Okay, after this we're going to take a brief, very brief intermission. Okay. Slight does not look good. All right, and I'm back. 
So we got some armor to paint. How are we going to do that? Hmm. Well, that's going to be gold. Let's go ahead and hit... Anywhere where I think there's just going to be steel, we'll do that one first. Getting armor right is kind of hard to do. But it's not if you live by only one simple rule. Dry brush often with very little. I'm actually breaking out the detailing brush for this part. Because I don't want to have to go over any lines. And it looks like you know, I could definitely have to. So I'm just going to make sure there's very little on the brush. Again, very little on the brush. Okay. Shoulder pads done. Breastplate not done. Well, that's actually going to be um, gold. I think. Trying to get underneath here. I don't like how my brush is looking there. It's getting very gunked up very quickly. I haven't even done anything with it yet. Okay, just loading up the brush again. Very little amount. Seems to be a matching piece to that. So I'm actually gonna go back to some black. Black that up. Black that ass up. Oh yeah. Sugar. Added some more than that. Basically going to with a very thin water to show that in very thin black over here in the I laid around. Okay. 
And then we'll put a clean brush over here. So we'll a clean brush. Okay, mostly clean brush. Brushing along the sword. This is just sort of the first, the first helping that the sword will get. Again, very little on the brush. Gonna go ahead and start on this goat metal, I think. He thinks I should probably do that in like uh, we'll see. We'll see. Okay. Get you in a little bit quicker, or a little, I'm sorry, a little bit closer. Move away from that thing, so it's up to the net. Let's pull that H bone out again. Not much, just a couple dabs. While that um, water that I just put down, that wash that I just, just put down is drying, I'm going to go ahead and do some touch-ups here.
Okay. Nice job there with that. Touch up. This the mini grinder with me. If you have just fast forwarded to this part, welcome. <laughs> So I'm just highlighting these skulls here, actually. It, uh, it bothers me that I can't just put this on his face. I'm going to try it, actually. I'm going give to give it a go. Give it a go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh, God. Ooh. Actually, yeah, that's not a bad. It actually looks pretty good. That's, that's looking really nice, actually. I can't paint them all in 13 minutes. You should check out my video where I paint the Skull Spearman in 13 minutes. It's, uh, and it looks halfway decent too. Nice. I'm gonna bring up the antique gold. Gold. Too much. Hold on. Too much. Again, using the detailing brush. Keeping it kind of thick on there, actually. I'm going to go do these shoulder pads. Make her chest plate gold. Uh, 
I just wanted to shine. Off these. There we go. I'm done. Let's get this in. Don't forget all three dimensions. They're kind of important. Just a little bit. They look pretty snazzy. Just up in my mouth. We're starting with a kind of a dry version of the gold. Just a little bit. I'm going to follow it up with some line, lining of gold here. La 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 la. Got that other piece lined. That one mine. I'm actually going to line this sash right here.
She's coming together very, very slowly, but surely. think huh he's really getting pretty close there's some more black here we can get these uh, boots a little darker Yes, we can. The answer is yes, we can. Okay. Anything up there? Well, shoot. I was hoping I could, uh, I, I could get away with not have to go in and, and individually paint those. It looks like I'm going to have to. For sizzle. First, I'm going to... Uh, Of all the mistakes I just made. Mine too. Okay. <laughs> if I was in you. So here's what we're going to do with those. We're going to detail them to the best of our ability. Loading up the detail brush. Now detailing. You don't have to be this exact. This is kind of like dry brushing. As long as you're not putting a lot of pressure down. You don't always hit that top layer. And that's what you're after. Just that top layer. Just the top layer. Just it. Just have it for this one. This one is going to be lined. Gold.
forget about all the things that we should. <laughs> You start doing a video for this one, you start running out of things to say. It doesn't really matter, nobody's watching, so, you know. I highly advise you to put on some music while watching this. It all makes sense now. I wish you could make this like a radio show, actually. Are you watching this? This is ridiculous. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that camera. Hey, camera. Hey. Hey. Hi. Hi. Malik, Necromancer. Hey. How's it going? <laughs> <laughs> a lot better than the other side. That looks pretty good. I'm actually going to uh, dry brush some gold right now. Up in here. This is one of my little two-tone golds here. It's, you can use the same color to get two effects. See that circle in the middle there? The staff? Brighter than the rest? Well, it's the same color. <laughs> we'll figure that one out. The color that's behind that I'm painting, I'm going to paint it thin. And the black, first black layer comes out better. What you're getting there with that circle is kind of like a pure, pure layer. I like doing that kind of stuff. Gonna brush this. Looks like they forgot to model something on the back here.
can't forget about the bracelet. Can't forget about the bracelet. We can't forget about the bracelet. It's going pretty good, actually. We're nearing completion here. But I'm doing stuff like weapons. And... Um, stabs and that kind of stuff. It's, uh, we're getting close to the end. Usually, that's the last thing I do. Usually. Hearing completions. Uh, I put it in. Some kind of thing. This is like the third time that I've painted this little sash. I know you guys just don't get, ever get bored of me painting that stupid little sash. It doesn't have to be very complex here. I'm doing it the right way this time. Simple, sweet, sophisticated. Lee. How you ask? How? How is that? Okay. All right. Birdie dang. Taking out the forest green. 
We're about to do it. Put up the detail brush. Pretty much wherever there's a jewel. Is for screen. Um, <laughs> not many places. Drop it right in there, husbands. I misplaced my word. There we go. One up age bone again. We are nearing the end here, folks. It won't be much longer, I promise you. If you're just joining us, welcome to the future. It looks a lot like this. No more spots, but I kind of want to do a dark wash on it first. So, yeah, dark wash. There we go. I'm actually loading up the detail wash with the dark wash. Precisely where I needed it. This is the remaining sort of defining these spaces. Don't do that for a while.
Okay. I'm really quite happy with where everything is sitting right now, actually. Um, the one thing that I would... I'm thinking about doing... is... I want his eyes to kind of glow green a little bit through the mask. Making sure my brush is really dry and clean. I'm going to put, load up the tip with some leaf green. wraps it up. Good to go. It does look better. Here we go. Oh, I should also prep the base. I guess I'm not quite done. Um, Found some earth brown right next to that dark wash that I just did. I'm just going out and move that up. Dirt colored in. Off the stone gray. This is this too, I think, for you. Why not? Why not? And you've come this far. Go the whole way. Always remember to shake your shake your mat seal arbor for you. Some minor touches, touch ups. This thing's pretty much done. So,
There you go. So what I'm doing is I'm not putting it all over everywhere. I'm just putting the drop down and I'm moving around with the tip. Because you don't need much. So just some super glue. There's some ash block, which is just gray sand. And because it's too monotone, I'm going to add a little bit of snow. Right here, right now. Tap it. Okay, so I definitely want to put down. A little bit more. I wanted more ash than that. Okay. And we're done with that. And hold on some grass. Switching over from the regular super glue to the gel super glue. I like using the gel super glue for grass because Jesus said it's awesome. Although my gel is like not working properly. It's like totally liquidy. I don't know what to do with this. I just bury him. I don't even care. <laughs> okay. There you go. And it's done. No. <laughs> you gotta tap it off. You gotta You gotta tap it. Oh, oh my god. I didn't think they got on there that thick. Okay. So, there's a good example of what not to do. My super glue got on there like super thick. Super duper thick. So, I'm actually going to remove some of that flock. No! What a pain in my butt. And while it's not quite dry. Okay, 
to be quick sometimes. I don't know why I said it. I don't know, maybe because I didn't shake it. It's very moist still. I don't understand. All she wrote. All done. Malik Necromancer. Thanks for joining me. Uh, it's been a pleasure painting for you and for me. It'll be more of a pleasure when it sells, uh, which will be totally awesome. So uh, please go check out all my other things that I'm doing. Uh, read the description. I've got links everywhere there. Uh, and I also just started a blog. So you can go to minigrinder.blogspot.com and check that out. And, of course, like, subscribe, you know, all that fun stuff. Um, do this as a hobby, as a means of making my unproductive lifestyle slightly more productive. That's what I'm doing here. All right. Thank you so very much for watching. Have a wonderful day.